five, four, three, two, one. SpaceX has just completed its monumental sixth test flight of the Starship, marking another leap toward the future of space exploration. But was it as groundbreaking as the previous test? Welcome back to our channel, where today we dive deep into SpaceX's latest test flight of Starship, a mission that offered both surprises and valuable insights into the future of space travel. From fueling to splashdowns, let's break down this pivotal moment in space history. The countdown clock began at T minus 45 minutes at Starbase, Texas, and the SpaceX team quickly confirmed that the vehicle's fuel systems were fully loaded with liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The weather was calm and everything seemed set for a smooth launch. As we got closer to T minus 10 minutes, the launch director gave the final green light. The automated sequence kicked in ensuring all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster were primed and ready to roar. At T minus one minute, the cameras captured a dramatic venting of vapor as the tanks were pressurized, building the tension in the air. And then at T zero, the ignition sequence began. All 33 Raptor engines ignited, sending Starship's Super Heavy booster into the sky in a blaze of power. The vehicle climbed steadily leaving behind a massive plume of exhaust visible for miles. Telemetry showed the engines were working perfectly as the rocket rapidly ascended. At T plus two minutes, the super heavy booster separated from Ship 31 and the booster began its descent back toward Earth. SpaceX had planned for a soft splashdown, not a traditional landing on the pad, to gather critical data on the descent and reentry process. Meanwhile, Ship 31 ignited its vacuum-optimized Raptors soaring toward the edge of space. By T plus five minutes, the ship reached its apogee, providing breathtaking views of Earth below. This marked the first time in Starship's test flights that a Raptor engine was reignited in space, successfully proving the vehicle's ability to perform orbital maneuvers. At T plus six minutes, the Super Heavy booster initiated its first controlled burn, slowing its descent and making its way toward the Gulf of Mexico. The booster's grid fins deployed for stability, guiding it toward a soft splashdown in the water. By T plus eight minutes, Ship 31 began its re-entry. The thermal protection system, made of heat-resistant tiles, withstood extreme temperatures as it plummeted through the atmosphere. The aerodynamic flaps on the vehicle adjusted dynamically, allowing it to stay under control for the final phase of landing. At T plus 10 minutes, Ship 31 performed its final landing maneuver, touching down gently in the Indian Ocean, showcasing SpaceX's ability to target landing zones with impressive precision. Throughout the mission, SpaceX kept the world informed with key updates. One tweet celebrated the ignition of the Raptor engine in space, marking a critical milestone for orbital maneuvers. Another detailed the Super Heavy Booster's successful splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico, offering vital data on descent dynamics. Interestingly, SpaceX didn't attempt to catch the booster with the Mechazilla arms, as many had expected following the success of Flight 5. A likely explanation came from damage observed to the lightning tower during the launch, likely caused by the sheer force of the 33 engines. This would have made a precise booster catch difficult, so SpaceX opted for a controlled splashdown instead. Although the mission didn't quite replicate the jaw-dropping spectacle of Flight 5, where SpaceX achieved the groundbreaking feat of catching a booster mid-air with its innovative Mechazilla arms, it marked a crucial step in Starship's development. Flight 6 focused less on dramatic displays and more on gathering critical data that will shape the future of reusable spaceflight. By opting for a controlled splashdown rather than a pad landing or a Mechazilla catch, SpaceX explored alternative recovery methods, a deliberate choice to test the booster's descent dynamics and water landing capabilities. This approach allowed engineers to study how the vehicle behaves under different re-entry and landing conditions, identifying potential improvements for future iterations of Starship. While it may have seemed less spectacular on the surface, the insights gained during Flight 6 will play a vital role in fine-tuning Starship's reusability, a cornerstone of SpaceX's vision for cost-effective and sustainable space exploration. 
Each test, whether dazzling or subdued, is a stepping stone toward creating a launch system capable of revolutionizing human access to space. SpaceX's commitment to advancing technology, even through subtle yet significant tests like this one, underscores their determination to tackle the challenges of interplanetary travel and push the boundaries of what's possible in aerospace engineering. While Flight 6 might not have been as flashy as the previous one, it offered invaluable insights into the future of space exploration. SpaceX continues to push the boundaries, and we'll be here to bring you all the latest updates on their incredible journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more exciting news on Starship and SpaceX's bold path to the stars. What happens when SpaceX pushes the boundaries of spaceflight with cutting-edge technology? On October 13, 2024, Starship Flight 5 took to the skies, showcasing the most advanced engineering to date. But the real intrigue lies in a mysterious component that sparked weeks of speculation, the elusive hot stage ring. SpaceX has once again captivated the world with Starship Flight 5, a groundbreaking mission designed to test several futuristic technologies. Booster 12 and Ship 30 spearheaded the mission, demonstrating impressive milestones on the path to reusable rockets and Mars exploration. While the jaw-dropping mid-air catch by the Mechazilla Tower made headlines, another crucial piece of the puzzle, the hot stage ring, slipped under the radar. Social media buzzed with speculation about its fate after launch, but SpaceX had one more surprise up its sleeve. Let's dive deep into the mission's achievements, the hot staging breakthrough, and how SpaceX tracked down and recovered the elusive hot stage ring. At exactly 7.25 a.m. Central Time on October 13, 2024, Starship Flight 5 roared to life at Starbase, Texas. With all 33 Raptor engines igniting, the mission set out to test revolutionary technologies, including hot staging and Mechazilla's mid-air catch system. SpaceX aims to make Starship the ultimate vehicle for deep space exploration, bringing humanity closer to Mars. One of the mission's key advancements was hot staging, where Ship 30's engines ignited before separating from Booster 12. Traditional rockets shut off one stage before the next fires up, but hot staging keeps the engines burning, improving efficiency and boosting payload capacity. At T plus two minutes and 40 seconds, Booster 12 released the hot stage ring, a critical component designed to shield the booster from the upper stage engine's intense heat. Without this protective ring, the booster could suffer catastrophic damage, compromising the entire mission. In a spectacular display of precision engineering, Mechazilla caught Booster 12 midair, marking a major milestone toward full rocket reusability. Meanwhile, Ship 30 executed a successful soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean, testing its heat shield's durability, vital for future manned missions to Mars and beyond. As the mission concluded, one question lingered. What happened to the hot stage ring? While it was meant to be discarded, curiosity ignited across social media, with enthusiasts and experts speculating about its whereabouts. SpaceX's recovery team quickly got to work using satellite tracking, sonar, and the advanced recovery vessel, Chos Ridgewind, to locate the ring deep in the Gulf of Mexico. Their efforts paid off, successfully retrieving the component. Recovering the hot stage ring wasn't just about bragging rights. It marked a critical step in SpaceX's iterative design process, where data from each mission feeds into future innovations. The ring, exposed to tremendous heat, pressure, and aerodynamic stress during launch, served as a real-world testing ground for this crucial technology. Its retrieval provided engineers with first-hand data on how it withstood these extreme conditions. Small details such as microcracks, heat deformation, or unexpected stress points could offer insights that simulations alone might miss. By studying the ring's performance, SpaceX engineers can identify areas for improvement, whether it's adjusting materials, tweaking the ring's structure, or enhancing its deployment mechanism during flight. These refinements are vital for making future hot staging operations more efficient and reliable. A more robust hot stage ring ensures smoother stage separations, reduces the risk of damage to the booster, and increases the payload capacity of Starship, which is essential for missions requiring heavy cargo or advanced scientific equipment. Every recovered component, no matter how small, 
plays a role in SpaceX's long-term vision of full reusability. The company's philosophy is centered around learning from each flight, with every success or setback contributing to the development of the next generation of spacecraft. As engineers analyze and improve the hot staging system, they get closer to perfecting rockets that can be launched, recovered, and reused with minimal refurbishment. This achievement is more than just a technical win. It brings space a step closer to fulfilling its ambitious goal of making human space exploration sustainable. Efficient hot staging operations, combined with reusable boosters, are critical to the success of future Mars missions, where every ounce of cargo and every second of propulsion will matter. In this context, recovering the hot stage ring is not just a victory in engineering, but a glimpse into the future of interplanetary travel. Starship Flight 5 was a monumental success, proving that SpaceX is moving closer to its goal of creating fully reusable rockets. From the precise Mechazilla catch to the innovative hot staging process, the mission demonstrated the future of space travel. The successful recovery of the hot stage ring adds yet another chapter to SpaceX's story of relentless innovation. With Flight 6 already on the horizon, SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. SpaceX's recent test flight just brought us one step closer to that future. Just a few days ago, SpaceX stunned the world by catching the super heavy booster mid-air and landing the Starship spacecraft smoothly thanks to their cutting-edge launch infrastructure. But what happened to the launch tower and the booster after this daring maneuver? Stick with us as we explore the aftermath of this incredible event and the latest insights from Elon Musk. SpaceX's early Starship tests were challenging. Stage zero, the launch pad system, struggled to handle the raw power of the super heavy booster. With 33 Raptor engines generating half a million pounds of thrust each, liftoffs were explosive, leaving the launch pad in disrepair. Early tests even blasted a crater under the pad, forcing costly repairs and delaying future flights. But SpaceX didn't back down. They revamped the infrastructure, including installing a water deluge system to absorb heat and shock waves during liftoff. Flight 5 marked a turning point. The water deluge system worked flawlessly, protecting the pad from heat and vibrations. This success reflects SpaceX's vision of rapid reusability, where rockets launch and land repeatedly with minimal downtime. The real showstopper of Flight 5, however, was Mechazilla. This massive tower equipped with chopstick arms is designed to catch the super heavy booster in midair. The logic is groundbreaking. Why let boosters crash into the ocean or land with heavy refurbishment needs when you can catch them and get them ready for another launch almost instantly? And this time it worked. The booster executed a controlled hover before being gently captured by the chopstick arms. A remarkable achievement given that the booster weighs over 3 million kilograms when fully loaded. Yet the operation wasn't without its challenges. As the booster hovered, a fire broke out in the engine bay scorching the lower part of the rocket. Surprisingly, all three engines continued to function normally, but the intense heat warped the outer nozzles. Elon Musk later acknowledged this issue, remarking that the engines were almost cooking, but emphasized the damage was minor and repairable. Another unexpected outcome was the slight flex of the chopstick arms under the booster's weight. Bending by about 15 centimeters. Fortunately, bumper pads inside the arms absorbed most of the impact, preventing any structural damage to the tower. The Raptor engines also performed admirably, delivering the booster with precision and power. While the heat caused minor cosmetic damage to the booster's exterior, these issues can be easily resolved before the next flight. Flight 5 brings SpaceX closer to a game-changing future, where rockets can launch, land, refuel, and relaunch within hours. This rapid turnaround would revolutionize the space industry, making it possible to conduct multiple missions in a single day. SpaceX's next big milestone, developing orbital refueling stations to extend the range of Starship missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX's vision of making space travel routine is becoming more real with each test flight. From the resilience of Stage Zero to the precision of Mechazilla, Flight 5 proves SpaceX is well on its way to revolutionizing space exploration. 
With every launch, they bring humanity closer to a future where interplanetary travel is no longer a dream, but a regular part of life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time for more exciting space news.